I did a video recently on spring 2021 trends, which I had some opinions on, which you can go back and look if you have not seen that already. And I mentioned that I had this idea to do kind of a little lookbook of spring trends in action and find outfits that are those trends and wear them for you because I know you like to watch pregnant people wearing clothes. I am like six months pregnant, something like that. So I do look a little different in clothing right now, but I did find some cute outfits and they're good for spring. At least give you some ideas for your own wardrobe. I will link everything below. And so without further ado, let's get started. One of the trends that was seen on the runway a lot were oversized button-up shirts and oversized button-up dresses. So I think this is a very easy one to do, especially for spring and especially while I'm pregnant. So I actually got this uh, dress in a size large because I wanted to be truly oversized, but I feel like this is just an easy look and I like it with the nude boots, but you could obviously wear, you know, some tennis shoes or sneakers with it. And then I added a sweater vest because I thought it would make it look a little bit more interesting. Um, I did do a video on how to make your outfit less boring, which I will link that up here. And I mentioned that a sweater vest is a good thing to add if you're trying to make everything look a little bit different. And what I would do if I wasn't pregnant is do some relaxed fit jeans, a button up shirt, which I linked my favorite one below, and then this sweater vest. And I think that would also look really cute and on trend. Neutrals were a huge trend on the runway and I have a few outfits in this video that are pretty neutral, but this is the first one. It's a jumpsuit. I love jumpsuits for spring and summer. They're just such an easy thing to throw on. They're a onesie basically, <laughs> and it already looks cute. You don't have to do a whole lot to keep it looking really stylish. So you just add a few pieces of jewelry, maybe some sunglasses, maybe a hat. You've got a really cute spring outfit. Bold prints and bold maxi dresses were really big on the runway as well. And I found this geometric dress on Amazon actually, and I thought it was really cute. It actually fits well for even a pregnant person. And I thought it was really cute and I felt like it could be kind of versatile. I decided to try a white belt, which I've had this white belt for 100 years, and I love the white belt with it. I'm not sure how I feel about this particular one, but I thought that was kind of cute instead of the belt that it comes with. Then I also tried a jean jacket, which I think looks okay, but my favorite look was putting a white button-up blouse with it and tying it up in the front. I just feel like it kind of breaks up the pattern a little bit. It gives me a more defined waistline, which I don't really have a waistline right now. And I just, I like this the best of all of them. White dresses are always seen in spring and summer every year, and I felt like this one with the netting was even more on trend because netting, as I said, was a big trend for the spring runways and for 2021 in general. And I love this dress, how just like long sleeve and maxi it is. I think that might be because I'm pregnant. Um, I will say that I am literally bursting out of all my bras right now. I need to go get resized. So this dress was a slightly bit tight on my upper half, but it is cute nonetheless. So neutrals and earth tones were a really big thing on the runways, and that's one of the things I had mentioned. I have a lot more neutrals coming up, but I think black and white might actually be kind of a trend this year too. And I think black and white always looks good, but I feel like it's kind of on trend this year, if that makes any sense. So I put you know, just a regular black dress, and I thought it was cute with a little white jacket over it. This could obviously look cute with a little button up, uh, white button up shirt over it as well. And then I have my nude boots, but I think you could also um, wear this with some flats or, you know, some sneakers. And then going with that earth tone theme, um, I really love this color, this olive color. So I think putting a t-shirt on over a dress is a really cute way to just make it look you know, give it a different look. And then of course, tying it up gives you a more defined waist. But I love all these three colors together, the nude, the black, and the olive. Another super easy neutral outfit is just a neutral gray sweater. And of course my favorite nude boots. You can obviously do nude sandals here. You can also do, um, you know, white sneakers if that's your style. You can do lots of things with a nude sweater dress. And I feel like it's just an easy look, very on trend and always a very classic look. And of course, tie dye was a big trend on the runways for spring and summer. I feel like it's kind of always a big trend for summer, especially, but I wanted to put some cute tie dye dresses that I found in this video. This is so cute. It, it actually looks okay, even me being pregnant, and it would be definitely 100% my style if I wasn't pregnant as well. And this one, of course, you could also look really cute with sneakers. 
probably more on the summer looking side of things. This maxi dress was super cute. Cute tie dye print. It has the orange, which I'm really, really into orange lately. I feel like that might be a big trend for 2021 as well in the spring. And so this was just an easy maxi dress. That I feel like, you know, you could see yourself wearing at the beach when you just want to throw something on over your bathing suit or just head down to a dinner by the water. I'm not totally sure how I feel about this dress. I like the idea of it, but as far as it, the fit on me, and it could also be because I'm just not used to my new body right now, and I'm just not used to having like this big of a um, midsection and everything, but I feel like the pockets um, just emphasize my hips that are already getting bigger a little bit. So I did try belting it, which I feel like made it look a little bit cuter and a different look, but I just love for some reason the half orange and half gray. I just feel like that's, looks so it just looks so interesting so i like it with the belt and you'll see here next i did put it on with a different type of belt so here i have trying it with the white belt that i've had for a million years and i like the white belt a lot better i feel like this is the look i really like i love the white i actually like this belt with it and i feel like this actually looks pretty cute and it gives me kind of a little bit more of a defined waist I do feel like I need to just wear it with something, some totally flat shoes because this dress is a teensy bit short on me, or at least shorter than what I would like it to be. Um, and it could also be because I'm belting it, but overall, this is a pretty cute look. I'm just still not sure how I feel about the dress on me. We are still wearing a lot of very casual clothes. So I thought I would put a lounge set in here because that is another trend that is you know, keep it on, keep it on for 2021. And I like this one because of the nude colors. I put it with Converse, but I feel like you could also put it with a lot of different other shoes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, what trends you're looking forward to. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. Consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.